Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to share my most recent empties with you. And here is a picture of my empties. And as you can see, I have a ton of them because it has really been several months, maybe months and months since I've done an empties video. So if you'd like to see more empties, then please let me know because I definitely can't get through all of them today. And I'll just be kind of skimming the surface here of some that I particularly liked and a few that I don't like. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best for if we're 30, 40, 50, 60 like me, 70, 80, 90, and beyond, then I hope you'll subscribe. And if you give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Ooh, that was hard for me to get through. Okay, I have a lot to get through, so I'll start with my supplements. And the first is this Science Research Collagen Peptides. And for those of you who have seen my videos, you know that I've used this for maybe two years. I really think it makes a difference in the firmness of my skin. However, I have found a recent problem with it that I'm trying to deal with, and that is that I have found really a great book about IBS, and I found some food lists that have really, really, really helped my IBS become like 95% better. And unfortunately, I realized that in the morning, having a cup of coffee with this in it really caused me a bowel problem. I won't get into more specifics, but I've been really sad because maybe for the last two weeks I've known this, I've not been able to use this. What I think I'm going to do is try to include it with a meal because sometimes if you have something that gives you a little bit of a GI problem, if you include it with other food, it seems to lessen the impact because I really can't stand the thought of dealing without this because I think it really does help for my skin. Okay, this next supplement is one that I will not be repurchasing. I have used this for maybe three or four 60 tablet boxes, and it is supposed to promote hair growth. However, I'm using other things to promote my hair growth, and I really didn't ever really see a difference with this at all. My hairdresser thought maybe she could see some difference with her. Even she wasn't sure though. This is very, very expensive, and I just don't think it produced any results. And the next is a skin supplement that I've been taking. This is my third bottle and it's all empty. I ordered it again. And this is the Source Natural Skin Eternal Vitamin with DMAE Lipoic Acid and C Ester. And this has fabulous reviews on Amazon and everywhere else I've seen it online. Women really swear by it. And I do think that it is helping my skin really look just a little firmer, a little more line free. I can't swear by this, but I, I am repurchasing it and I would recommend it. Okay, my next supplement has to do with my GI issues. And this is a fabulous supplement. This is the Kroger brand Fiber Caplets and basically it has a bulk forming feature to it that helps you if you suffer from diarrhea. I'll just put it out there. And it really does help. And actually, I also use Fibercon. That's the name brand of this, but every now and then I have to buy the Kroger. I prefer the Fibercon, but it really doesn't matter. I do think that this is a good bulk former. It really does help you if you have that sort of a GI problem. I would take it with a meal if you would though, because every now and then this can give you an upset stomach on an empty stomach. Okay, my next empty is a perfume empty and I keep trying to buy less expensive perfumes, but I always go back to this. And this is the Jo Malone fragrance in Orange Blossom. However, I, I actually did repurchase this in a three ounce size. This is the one ounce size and it's all gone. I really do like this Orange Blossom scent but I used to mix it with the Bluebell scent that is Joe Malone as well because you can mix these, but now I've really decided that I just like the Bluebell. And so going forward, I won't be getting the Orange Blossom anymore. The Bluebell is fantastic. This is a great one too. Okay, the next empty I have is this Rapid Brow. And I think I did a video about this earlier on in my channel and I really do like this. It helped me grow up my tails. I'm not using it now because I've been using the Revita Brow product that I think is even better because it has really grown in my brows all over, not just the tails. Rapid Brow is a much less expensive option though, and I think it works well. Okay, this is my Revita Lash, and you can see all of the letters are worn off of it. This is their most expensive size. I think it was about $120, which just killed me, but it does last about six months, and it really has helped grow my eyelashes. I will say this is probably my third or fourth that I've purchased and I may be switching eyelash products because 
One thing I've noticed about lash growth serums is that they tend to work for, you know, a good long time, three, four, five months, and then all of a sudden they just don't seem to be as effective. It's like your eyelashes kind of get used to them and, you know, stop responding as well. So every now and then I do switch out these products, so I'll probably be switching this out. But if you've never tried Revita Lash, you might give this one a shot because I think it's very good. Okay, my next two empties are concealer, and this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and I absolutely love this. I bought it in a lighter color. I don't have it on now. I can't really tell what color this is. I'll try to list it below. Oh, it's in medium peach, and that is my color of this e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and it really does cover everything beautifully under your eyes. I tend to have black veins under my eyes, and you can't see them when I use this. And then this is an old favorite, and I probably repurchased this maybe four or five times. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I used to use the Tarte Shape Tape, which was more expensive, but I find that this Milani concealer works just as well. Next, I have a little Milani eyeshadow primer, and everyone has heard of this, and it works beautifully. I have to say I don't have any eyeshadow primer on now, but nine times out of 10 when I'm using a primer, it is this Milani primer. It's lovely in that it smooths out the discoloration on your lids and gives you just a little bit of a tacky grip, which helps your eyeshadow wear longer. Okay, my next makeup empty is this Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, and it is a fabulous one, and I've talked about this for probably two to three years. It is probably still my all-time favorite mascara. It really gives you volume and also length it just really thickens your eyelashes and really does make them look like lash extensions. Okay, this next empty you have seen before. I am a big fan of these pure on-point eyeliners. This is in the color Down to Earth, which is a brown eyeliner. I love all of these pure eyeliner pencils. I think they're around $20, but to me they're worth the extra cost because they're called on point because they do have a sharpener that's built in and obviously that one is gone. But every time you put the lid on there, you're actually sharpening the end of that pencil. So every time you use your eyeliner, it gives you an absolutely perfect point. I would really recommend this one very highly. Okay, here is yet another empty, and I probably had four or five of those in my empties. This is the Bausch & Lomb Lumify, and this is absolutely fabulous for making the whites of your eyes whiter. And I have probably purchased maybe 10 bottles of this, and I have to say, it is expensive, and the bottles don't last that long at all. I wish they'd come out with a bigger bottle that was more cost-effective. I'm really not sure that I'm going to keep purchasing this just due to the expense. And this morning, I did not use it, and it seems like the whites of my eyes are pretty white. You know, that is, the whites of my eyes are white for me. I, I always say I have snake eyes, red or yellow snake eyes, because the whites of my eyes tend to be very yellowish, almost like jaundice or something like that. I promise I don't have liver disease, but I didn't use the Lumify this morning and I think it looks okay. So I think for a while I'll be going without this. Okay, this is getting hard to find and I have used it probably every day or every evening anyway, probably since I was in college. And so maybe this is becoming out of stock. I used to carry it in Walmart and I notice now you have to order it online. This is the CoverGirl Clean Makeup Remover for Eyes and Lips, and this is fabulous for taking off mascara. I don't use it on my lips. I just use it to become a big raccoon, get that stuff off my eyes, and then tissue it off after that. It's kind of a grungy looking bottle, but I bought several of these ahead because I really do love this eye makeup remover. Now my next product is something that is not in season anymore since it's fall now, but this is the Jergens Natural Glow, and this is a gradual self-tanner. It's just a nice little lotion, moisturizing lotion, that you put on your arms and legs on your body one night, and you wake up just slightly tanner in the morning. If you use it for several nights, it does give you a nice golden glow. I think this is a super natural look, and it is very easy to apply. Okay, now let's get into some skincare empties. This is something I absolutely love. This is the Paula's Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner with Hyaluronic Acid. It has lipids and hyaluronic acid and something about it just makes my skin look more finely textured. My pores tend to look minimized. It even kind of, kind of nulls out the brown spots on my face. I really do love this. And I've gone through three bottles. I think this was my third bottle and I'm totally out and I need to order this one again. 
somehow this toner, even though they say you don't need a toner, this toner really seems to make a difference in the look of my skin. Now, my next empty is this Eva Naturals Skin Clearing Serum Vitamin C Plus, and it's plus because it has a lot of different ingredients in it. It has 20% vitamin C, which is the right strength. It has 2% salicylic acid, which kind of, you know, abrades your face. It kind of exfoliates your skin. It has 2% hyaluronic acid and 3.5% niacinamide and plus 2% retinol. So it packs a lot of punch and it's only like $14. I did a video about this one and I was using this one religiously as my vitamin C serum in the morning and I will probably go back to it. But recently I've been using the SkinCeuticals vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid and for some reason I'm really liking that, which really disappoints me because the SkinCeuticals is much more expensive than this but I do think my skin is looking better lately. And I do like that SkinCeuticals vitamin C as well, but I probably will not stop using this because it's more cost effective and I think it really does even out your skin tone and give you a fine poured look. Okay, this is a product that people have been asking about my neck and I have a wrinkly neck. I mean, I am 60 plus years old. I am not going to have a line free neck for sure. And people started asking me in the comments, what did I have to use for wrinkly necks? And I realized at that point that my neck was really looking terrible. And I remembered that I had a video on this particular product and I went back and looked at that video and the before and after pictures were wonderful. So maybe about three or four months ago, I started using this again on my neck and I think it has really made a positive difference. It is the Gold Bond Ultimate Neck and Chest Firming Cream and it says 97% had firmer skin in two weeks and I really do love this. It has salicylic acid, which is a good exfoliant. It says it has an advanced hydration blend that draws in moisture to improve the texture and I really do think that it's making my neck look better. And you can use this again on your neck and chest. I always forget to use it on my chest because my chest doesn't look too bad, but I use it every single night on my neck and I really think it is doing something positive. Okay, here's a product that I did not purchase again. However, I liked it. I, I used about two of these bottles. I purchased them myself. This is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Correcting Serum. And I did feel like it kind of decreased the look of my pores. However, with using the vitamin C serums, I think that that is doing just the same thing. And this is rather expensive. I think it was about $50 for just this small amount, less than one ounce. So I will not be repurchasing this one again. Okay, you all are always asking about my use of hormones, female hormones, and this is what I use. I had tried the Trokies and the custom blend of the bioequivalent hormones, I think it's called, or bioidentical hormones, and it always made me crazy. In fact, whenever I would be using those Trokies, I wouldn't tell my husband, and he would say, what is wrong with you? Are you on those hormones again? You're acting mean and nasty. And that's what would happen to me. I would get kind of warlike or I'd get very tearful. I just didn't do well on those hormones at all. And I went through menopause when I was just about 50 and probably through the difficulty of working with those bioidentical hormones, they never worked for me, probably until I was about 58, I just didn't use hormones at all. But I really do think that they are good for you. They're good for your bones. They're good for your skin. So I started researching Barbara Hoffman's channel about using bioidentical creams. And I don't know that she recommends these particular creams, but I researched it on Amazon and I've been using these now for probably four years, a long time. This is the progesterone cream and this is the estrogen cream. And I actually took these jars into my OBGYN to see what he would say. And he says, oh, they're absolutely fine. And he looked at the ingredients and he says, you know, this is great. And I use like a quarter teaspoon of the progesterone cream and about half a teaspoon of the estrogen cream. And I don't use the estrogen cream every single night. I maybe use it every third or fourth day, something like that but I used to apply them on my arms because you can apply them on your inner arm and they sink in. But I started realizing that these creams are clinically proven to thicken skin. So I thought, why not use them on my neck? Because your neck is thin skin and you can apply these hormone creams to your neck and it will sink in. And I don't know if it's helping, but I put the Gold Bond Cream on my neck. But first I put these hormones on my neck and the Gold Bond Cream. And I really think my neck is looking quite a bit better but again, even though you can buy these on Amazon and they're soy-based creams, 
please consult with your OBGYN. I am not an expert by any way, shape, or form. I'm just a woman that feels like these are helping me feel and maybe helping me look a little bit better too. Okay, my next skincare empty is this Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser. And this was a fine cleanser. It was just as good as anything else. And they did send me this in PR, which I really appreciated. And it smelled good. It smelled like orange, I think. Orangey, lemony, that kind of a smell. But I didn't really notice anything unusual about this cleanser's effects. In fact, really, my feeling about cleansers is generally that as long as they clean your skin, you know, that's about what you can expect from a cleanser. And I would not put a bunch of money into a cleanser for sure. So I won't be repurchasing this. Okay, I have one more skincare empty, and this is the Glytone Exfoliating Body Lotion. And this is a fantastic body lotion if you really want to rip off the outer layers of your skin. This is glycolic acid, and I think it might be like 12%. I can't tell here. I know it's a very, very high percent of glycolic acid and, oh, 17.5%. So it is a very intense cream and be very careful and be very sparing about this. I was using it on my arms because my arms were looking a little gritty and grungy and you know had some brown spots and I started using this and I do like it. But again, I could not use it every night because it is a very strong cream. So I would have to alternate this with my Alpha Hydrox cream, which I also like. This is very intense though. And if you want a big time exfoliation, I would really recommend this. Okay, my last empties are hair care. The first is this Mark Anthony Instant Thickening Cream, and I use this to this day. I have used this for probably maybe two years, three years, somewhere in there. This absolutely gives you a lot more body. My hair has no body at all, but you can't tell it when I use this cream. It is wonderful. And in fact, recently, one of my viewers commented on this, and she said, you know, she had seen my video where I was showing you my hair thickening products, and I will link that below. And she said, Beth, I love that product, but I use it about four times more than you do. And she said, this is basically the only product that she uses all over her hair, and that it gives her great volume. I absolutely love this. Now, the next two products I have are Kenra hairsprays, and I think these are the best ever. However, this is the Kenra Perfect Medium Spray, number 13. And I need the big guns. This is not enough for me. Uh, it kind of keeps your hair kind of in shape. But if you want a helmet head, which is what I want, I want to spray my hair in the morning. And then when I get home from work later that day, my helmet of hair looks exactly the same way. And this baby does it. This is the best hairspray ever. This is the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Spray 25. And this was given an Allure Beauty Award. And I can certainly see why it is Fabulous. Okay, here is a mousse that is just kind of a so-so mousse. This is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume, it says. Perfectly full mousse, and I noticed no difference at all using this mousse. You know, no big deal either way, but I would not repurchase that. Here is another Marc Anthony product, and I have the shampoo and the conditioner in this. I think I still have a little shampoo left. But this is the Dream Big Volume Thickening Conditioner and I love Mark Anthony's bodybuilding products. This one worked. It's wonderful and it's drugstore price, which is just great. Okay, that was a look at my empties. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, if you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 90, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'm going to be reading from these How to Love Yourself cards. Let's choose, hopefully, a good positive card to think about for today. Let's see what we get here. Okay, here's one. Okay, I accept all of myself. I accept all of myself. Ooh, that's a tough one. The work I do on myself is not a goal. It is a process, a lifetime process. I choose to enjoy the process. And friends, I really do like this card. And you know, there is a happy medium in terms of working on yourself and having goals and all that. And part of me has been working on the goal to give my positive improvement projects to God, to say, Lord, you know the person that you need me to be. You know that I can be kinder, I can be less selfish, I can be more giving, and please come into my heart and change me from the inside out to be more of the woman that you want me to be on this earth, understanding that I will never be perfect. Because you know, in my first half, and even up to very recently, 
I was always a work in progress. I was always having this or that self-improvement project in whatever way, shape or form. And quite honestly, it gets kind of exhausting. And so recently I went on vacation with my husband. We went to Costa Rica and we had a lot of time on the beach just to kind of think about things, evaluate our lives and just relax and have a good time. It was really fun. But I really had a lot of, lot of prayers and a lot of conversations with God. And I realized that I want to be the kind of woman that he wants me to be and that he knows my heart and he knows my possibilities of being a better person a more giving person, a more loving person, and I've just asked him to come into my heart and change me in whatever ways he sees fit. So anyway, I guess lately I am learning to accept all of myself just because Jesus made me, but I'm making Jesus the master of my life and asking him to come into my heart and change me from the inside out. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.